Hey, um, this is a response to a question I've had on my video going from octal to hex. Um, so it, in that video, um, I convert 15.5 in octal to hexadecimal, but like the way I've been taught is you can't go directly from octal to hex, so you have to find another number system to go to first to like use as a base. So um, I use binary as the base because I find it to be the quickest and easiest way for me. Um, so yeah, at the start of the video, I break my numbers up into groups. Okay, and then beneath each group, um, I write a series of twos. So three twos beneath each, each number. Okay, so the question was, um, like, how do the twos fit with the top digit? So, like, what's the relationship? Like, what's the reasoning behind it? Um, so, um, probably the best way I can explain it is you're going from octal. which is also known as base 8. So you're coming from octal and you're going to binary, um, which is also known as base 2. Okay, so what, what this means is um, in base 8, there are 8 different digits in the number system, and those digits are 0, to seven. Okay, and in base two, there are two different numbers in the number system. Um, so that's zero to one. Okay. Um, so this is where the twos fit in. So binary is base two, so that's why we're using twos here. But the reason you need three of them is because you need to be able to represent the highest number in the octal system, um, which is seven. So, like I'll show you an example. If I if I want to convert seven into binary, okay, I use my three twos. I raise each two to a power, so two to the power of zero. 2 to the power of 1 and 2 to the power of 2. Okay, and if I just work out what these powers are, uh, 2 to the power of 0, that's 1, 2 to the power of 1, that's 2, and 2 to the power of 2, that's 4. Okay, so the next step would be to, to say how many times does 4 perfectly fit into 7? Okay, and that fits once and has a remainder of three. Okay, and now I say, how many times does two perfectly fit into three? Well, it fits once with a remainder of one. And how many times does one fit into one? Uh, well, that fits once. Okay, so there are, there are no more numbers remaining. So this is perfect. Okay, and that would be your, num uh, your final answer. So one, 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 in binary uh, equals seven in octal. Okay, um, and you know that you need three because, like, if you look at it this way, four plus two plus one that equals seven, and that's the highest number in the octal binary. Uh, sorry, in the octal number system. Okay, so yeah. Um, it's probably the best way I can explain it, like, I'm still on your student myself, so I don't know the answers to everything, but as far as I'm aware, like, that's the reasoning behind it. Um, so yeah, you're using, you're using twos because you're going to binary, and binary is base two, and then you use three of them because using three of them is the only way to represent the highest number in the octal number system, which is seven. And that's 
what I did there. Cool, so, um, yeah, like, hopefully that helped, um, basically with these videos, it's, it's just a way that I found works for me. Um, yeah, and if, if it works for you too, then that's really cool. Um, yeah, like, there are other ways to do this, but this is the way that I find it's probably the easiest. Cool, thanks.